Hey y'all, we're now watching Masters of the Air, episode 3. So in the last episode we saw uh, the Misfits have a near landing on the cliffs. And we continue to follow Buck and Bucky. Uh, Buck is Austin Butler's character in case we're following. <laughs> because we get those two confused. And Bucky is John Egan, who is uh, slightly, high, slightly higher ranked than uh, Buck. And uh, he wants to be with the unit rather than... Uh, uh, desk work so it's been interesting reading about this show a bit because I've read some discussion in episode one people were like why are they acting like Hollywood heroes and stuff like they literally look like they came out of Hollywood posters but that's that's how pilots were in that era these pilots especially uh, these two were famous for that in the book apparently and Though it is a bit of a shame that we didn't get to see training or whatnot, but they were trained during peacetime. That's why they're the first time, first ones up. So, I guess uh, by skipping the training, going straight to the action, they want the audience to jump into the audience, the action right away. They already did um, Band of Brothers. They did, but uh, it does show that the times of the audiences have changed. You know, people just want to jump straight in right away, rather than wait and uh, see. So, uh... Yeah. Anyways, we got episode three, so let's get started. Also, I have a bit of a cold, so my voice isn't perfect. So bear with me here. Exactly one year ago to the day, the Air Force sent up its first maximum effort of 12 B-17s. <laughs> we'll be sending up a max effort with three air task forces. Totaling 376 heavy bombs wow. and 200... No war machine moves without ball bearings. Even brought one for the demonstration. We not that's a lot of flying time over crowd territory. So this is the other guy that was appointed by uh, Bucky. Three task forces precisely coordinated. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I bet CGI artists like Bog because they can hide everything. <laughs> We got a 30 minute delay. I don't know if radius to tell him. Drive him one by one. On each of the road is a goblin. One goblin always tells the truth. The tricky little fucker, he always lies, okay? One question that you need to ask is going to tell you the right way to go. Ooh, good question. <laughs> I turn your cow to the ground, baby. Meatball. Meatball. Well, the problem with this plan is if once they know they're going south, all that German area becomes hostile too. So it's kind of. When they want to I'm not sure this up. is the greatest plan. Mm. What do you mean? Well, I'm just want to wait for anyone else. The music in this intro is really good. Mm. Hey, that's the chat from the... Oh, yeah? Just now. But this time it's opposite. Wow. Well. Yeah, the sheer amount of material used in this war. It's crazy. There's no names for any of the episodes. It's just part one, part two, part three. Mm. Oh, wow. Jumping wow. straight into it. Wow, yeah. was the target. Jeez. Okay. It's like they're treating like turbulence. Did he see vomit again? Jesus. Wow, those shots look gorgeous. It's really cool they're really sticking with the, uh... You know, making them wear masks. Hmm. Even if it's harder for the audience to identify who's who. I'm starting to identify them Yeah. Now. They have distinct eyes, actually. That's really helpful. Hmm. I wonder if they picked them for that reason. Mm. Like uh, him, for example. Kurt yeah. has a very distinct voice. <laughs> this actor, uh, Barry uh, Kugan, right? He's very so. distinct looking, his eyes. <laughs> Jeez, it's like something out of a video game came in like that. 
Wow, some of these shots are really good. Oh, those damn rockets. That's right, the Germans had rockets. Their planes. Oh, that shot's really creepy. Actually, him alone. I think it's very important that pilots remain as yeah, it's calm, remain calm for the rest. The, the gunners are the ones that are worried. Yeah. Oh, he's going down there? Why is he taking over? Surely the gunners ain't better than a pilot. The pilot just flies. Did they accidentally shoot each other? It's possible. Yeah, yeah. I bet they do that all the time. With how close they are. Oh no. Oh, he's the one pointing to the left. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Might as well drop all the bombs. Oh, he can't get out? Just randomly dropping the bombs. I like to never show who went the hit with the bombs. They just dropped them from their end. Oh boy. That's fucking terrifying. <sighs> oh man. What about the guy on it's board? It's so cool that they're showing all this. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit, now oh, he's no. getting out while the plane's twirling. Oh, you can really feel the terror. What's he supposed to? Oh, jeez. I don't think he has a choice now. Man, being in a ball turret is like the worst job. You get stuck in there, yeah. you're stuck. Where's the other two task force? They're just sending them off by themselves? I... Oh, jeez. Oh, lucky their plane didn't go down with that. Man, they saved their plane last time and now they're having this shit again. Oh, shit. Wow, oh, look at that shot with the planes in the back far away. Spent so much up for saving uh, the plane yes. last episode, and then they lose it anyway. He's awake! Oh. They're already bailing everyone. Wow. You just got, got the damn pretty... Easily. Oh shit. Sir, the second and third task forces have just crossed. Oh shit, did Kurt die from that? Oh man. Man, his reaction at the end, like with the plane going down. It's so realistic. So realistic. Yeah. Oh, he didn't have a parachute. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think I read that in the book once, too. Oh, something got hit. Yeah. Oh, finally wow. see him, like... That's exhausting standing there and shooting. Yes. For hours and. Oh, he's still alive. That's good. I love their technical uh, dialogue. These, mm. these parts. I wonder if it's super accurate. Oh, shit. Oh, more.
Wow, look at these shots. She's... Oh! Uh... Landed. Luckily that people in Belgium speaks <laughs> English yeah. somewhat. Wow, look at that. There's the shot from the intro too. Fuck, I'm just casually losing the planes here and there. Oh. I like how he counts all the shoots too, not just yeah. they're jumping out. So they can keep that because the Germans capture them and they're like, the Germans only capture nine? So where's the 10th guy? Or did the Germans shoot him? Or did he get away? You know, they have to... You can get a new bomb site. <laughs> Not my precious bomb site. Oh wow, you can release it? That's wow. cool. Oh fuck, they're so far away from rescue. Oh, Not even get a helicopter out there. It's fascinating how they keep an eye on each other. You want to escape back to England? I can help you, but know this. Escape? Wow. I mean, you got friendlies next to you at that point. Seems very certain. The answer to the riddle is one eight four. Keep your eyes peeled. What is the answer to the riddle? Yeah, I want to know. <laughs> There's kids at every airfield. What's the answer to that riddle? I was hoping you'd tell me. <laughs> Oh, they look shot up the shit. Yeah. He's calm and confident and collected. Do they have the wheels down? Oh, they still have wheels. I got lucky with that one. Yeah. That's the German Jeep. I guess it's been captured and re requisitioned. I lost four flights. I know. That's I'm why he's man. not in a joking mood. 21. 11 out of 21. Any suits? Wow, that was a really fast I episode. It felt like 20 minutes. I know. Oh, wow, that was a really good episode, actually. Yeah, that one Oh, man. So we saw Kurt intense. die, I guess? Wow. Brought him in only to die in the third episode. Jeez. Because mm -hmm. he wanted to get uh, his co-pilot alive mm -hmm. down on the ground. But it looks like they exploded, so I don't know. Man, that was a really depressing episode, actually. Yeah, Jeez, so many people I shot down. And... Yeah. <laughs> really good acting. Yeah. This episode was and and then that that uh that scene where um not Quinn but the other one who was stuck. Oh yeah, that was depressing. Poor him. Yeah. What a horrible way to go. Yeah. How come they don't leave those things open just in case it gets I guess it's sealed for safety reasons. If they leave it open, the door could like slam down and kill you. I don't know. I don't know either. Like anything that's not bolted down could fly around in the air, I guess. Mm. That's why they can release it. That whole ball if they wanted to. Mm. Ugh, jeez. I don't know what you do in that situation. If you're trapped in it, do you just like, hey, just release the whole thing. Maybe I, maybe it'll fly out. You know, get lucky. Or just go down with the plane. Like, what's your choices in that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And this is the first time we've seen Buck. Like, he's been really... Yeah. Kind of traumatized by this. Unnerved. Yeah. Yeah. This co-pilot was fucking useless, too. He kept yelling about stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. It's probably safer to jump out. I mean, Than risk the whole plane. Yeah. Yeah. People think differently. Mm. 
And the other two task force never joined them. So yeah. they took the whole brunt of the fighting. And the, uh, I think, if I remember correctly, they did bomb the, the uh, planet so well that the Germans were unable to make uh, planes from that for months, which really helped the war effort. So they did. So it wasn't... But they lost a lot of planes, as you saw. Like yeah. half of their 21. Uh, they downed 11 planes from 21 for this unit. And then it was over, over 300 planes, so you can imagine the casualty rates were pretty high. Being a, I'm starting to feel like being on the ground's a little better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might not even ever see the front. Here, every time you take off, you're at risk because so of uh, maintenance or... Fuel. Or yeah. Then. It's not like a civilian Don't... plane, right? It's like an airliner. Yeah. Those planes are checked to hell, but it's war time. Planes, uh, they don't have time to check every single one thoroughly. Mm. A lot of good acting in this episode. Yes. The yeah, stakes this... were much higher and so much emotion. Yeah, this episode was great. Yeah. Excellent work. And I guess we'll see in the next episode, since they teased it here, that he's going to escape. <laughs> uh, Quinn, I think. Yeah, since yeah. it seems like they chose that. It's interesting that they're focusing on stories like what happens on the to ground. the pilots. Yeah, they'll probably show the smuggling system, how they get pilots back to England. Mm. Or the pilots that surrender, and then uh, stuff yeah. like that. It's uh, Various perspectives. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah. yeah we're not going to see just bombing. We're going to see other stuff. We're going to see their story, mm. which is really cool. Yeah. That seems like something a pilot would say, actually, at the end. Mm. You know, as they're going down, they're like, oh, God, or, oh, jeez. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, what's up with me, uh, sometimes on the black boxes, you can probably hear those messages, like I'm going down, or like, we're going to land, we're going to be in the Hudson, you know, mm. that, uh, that American pilot who landed in the river. Yeah. And saved everyone, stuff like that, that's our last message. <laughs> but what happens to, like, the planes that land on water? Uh, yeah, I'm wondering about them, like, are they going to get out? They might drown, because they're not necessarily trained to swim. Some of them might drown. Do they have swimming equipment planes, just in case? They might have a raft. I don't know. Mm. But uh, that's why I was marking their position, so the rescuers can go find them. 350 miles away from land, though. That's pretty far. That's like... Yeah, that's going to be difficult. I mean, like, the the length between the Taiwan Strait and China is like 100 miles. So mm. think about that. Three times the length in the middle, somewhere there. Jeez. I'm well, not even in the middle. Three times the length, so... Jeez. Pretty far from anywhere. I guess we watched episode... I can't speak. Three. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed our reaction to episode three. The full reaction will be on Patreon, as well as the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, this is a great episode. And looking forward to more. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care, and... Have a great day.